Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and I post lifestyle videos and sometimes Disney videos. <laughs> and if you're a new subscriber, hello, welcome, thank you so much for joining. And if you're an old subscriber, hello. I'm excited because, as you can tell from the title, I don't even know how to say this video. <laughs> Um, as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to Disney. We are going to Walt Disney World and I am just, I, I just, I can't believe I'm saying it out loud finally. I can't believe that it's almost here. Um, yeah, so we're going to Walt Disney World. We are actually going in less than a month. Um, a little actually even closer than less than a month. Um, I'm not going to say the exact dates, um, just for privacy reasons, safety reasons. Um, but if you are following me on Instagram at Magically Caitlin, um, you will see updates of when we actually go, obviously. So, um, you can follow along there. So, I won't say what um, dates we're going, I won't say where we're staying. Um, that will be a little surprise for when we get there um but yeah I'm just so excited and I wanted to announce it to you guys because th this has been so long in the making because if you have followed along for a while um we have canceled um I think at this point three Walt Disney World trips since the start of 2020 um, so I honestly can't even remember what the dates were. I think we had like a trip in April of 2020. I think we then booked a trip for like fall of 2020. And then we actually had a trip booked for April of 2021. Um, but then when there was rumors kind of going around that there was going to be a, or sorry, not April of 2021. April of 2022 and then when there was rumors kind of floating around that the Canadian borders were going to be opening up like to travel um, and come back without a quarantine if you were fully vaccinated um, then we kind of were like okay well maybe let's just book a trip just to see and worst case we cancel it but hopefully like all is well so we booked a trip and then two weeks later they said like yes Canadians are fine to not quarantine for two weeks so here we are we are we are going to Walt Disney World and I cannot believe it. So I guess I will just kind of talk you through the plans, what we're doing, um, some reservations that we have, um, some things that we want to get done. I always kind of talk about like our Walt Disney World bucket list for every trip. So yes, I will just kind of go through it. And if I keep looking off to the side, it's because my planner is on the side, um, my classic Walt Disney World planner. Um, but yeah so first day that we arrive we are getting in actually later than we wanted to our original flight i think left at eight and then we were landing at like 11 um but now we're getting in around 12 30 um and then we have to obviously go to our hotel check in and then go to one of the parks um so we're getting in a little bit late but we are going to epcot and we will most likely be doing the food and wine festival on the first day. Um, I'm really excited because the last time that we were there for the food and wine festival was actually our honeymoon three years ago. And we, I really don't think we got to experience this as much as we should have because we were on the dining plan. So we were like, we don't want to fill up on all these like little portions because we had like so many meals that we had to eat. Like we had three, I think we had three meals a day. Like we had the big, bigger dining plan. Um, so this time we're actually going to experience the, um, food and wine festival and I'm really, really excited because I have a list of all the places that I want to try and all the places that I want to go to for that. So that's probably what we'll be doing on our first day. Um, we also are going to order groceries for the first time. We've never done that before, but, um, because we're not doing a dining plan this year and that's just because of, um, they don't have it available right now because of COVID. Um, we are going to order just like light snacks and kind of breakfasty type items um, so that we are able to I'm sorry if you can hear Cooper chewing in the background he has decided that he wants to have breakfast this morning so 
what can you do? Um, <laughs> but I forget what I was saying. Oh, we're going to just do like little light breakfasts and probably drinks. We'll probably get like Powerade, um, Gatorade, whatever, stuff like that. Um, just so that we have some items that we don't have to like spend insane amounts of money on <laughs> in the parks. Um, and then also on that first day, we are really, really hoping to go to the um, outlets. We've never been to the outlets before, and I thought, like, okay, if we go to the outlets on the first day, we can see what they have, we can buy what we want at, like, really cheap prices, and then that way we are spending less money on souvenirs, um, and then we won't... I don't know, like, I know that there's things that are in the outlets that are also in the parks, so it's, like... I would rather like see if we can get it at a cheaper price than go and buy like full price in the parks so that's what we're doing on our first day so that's fun um and then what else are we doing i won't go day by day um because i want some of it to be a surprise obviously but um we have a couple reservations booked so we will be eating at Ogus Cantina, or I guess drinking, <laughs> at Ogus Cantina. Um, we have a reservation for there. We also have a reservation to do the um, Savi's workshop, so building a lightsaber. Austin got to do that last time, and I get to do it this time. I didn't think I would ever want to do it. Um, not that it's not cool, like, it's very cool. Um, but, like, Star Wars is always Austin's thing. But I've recently, I'm almost caught up on all the Star Wars like original movies I still have one more movie to watch fully um, but I really just enjoy it and I really just enjoy like it in general and realistically like I'll get to build it but it'll be on Austin's shelf like he'll get to have the thing as well so that's why and I'm just like really excited to like do the experience because it is so cool so I'm excited to do that um, we also have two dinner reservations, so we will be eating at California Grill one night, which if you guys don't know, that is like basically our favorite. I think that's our favorite conjoined, that's our conjoined favorite um, restaurant in Walt Disney World. Um, like I have my favorites and then Austin has his favorites, but I think California Grill is like our conjoined favorite. Um, so we're going to be eating there one night and then we are also going to be eating at Ohana one night, which I am so happy about because the only other time that I've ever eaten at Ohana, same with Austin, was at our honeymoon. Um, because every other trip that we've tried to go on since, I've tried to get reservations, but they sell out so fast. Um, so I'm so happy <laughs> we were able to get a reservation for Ohana. So we were doing that one night. Some other exciting things that are happening. I guess this is kind of like more sad than exciting. Um, but I'm excited because we are going to see Happily Ever After for our last time probably ever. Um, because Happily Ever After, if you don't know, is the fireworks show that they do at Magic Kingdom. It is going away. I don't 100% know the date off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's like the last day is the day before the 50th, so October 1st. Um, so at the end of September, basically, it'll be going away for good, it seems like. It seems like that's kind of what Disney's hinting at. Um, so I am just so happy that we are going to be able to see it a few times for the last time. Um, we have, I think three nights scheduled in Magic Kingdom um but we might end up kind of just like going back to Magic Kingdom a few extra times just to watch it because yeah um obviously we are going to be going I said it's gonna be less than a month so obviously we're go we are going to be going while the Halloween decorations are going to be out so I'm excited for that because Halloween at Disney is my absolute favorite and um, we are actually not going to be doing the Boo Bash. Um, before they used to do Mickey's Not So Scary and then now they're doing this like Boo Bash thing which costs more than the Mickey's Not So Scary and you have less things to do. So we're not doing it, <laughs> um, but we're fine with that. Um, what else are we gonna be doing? We are also going to be going to Disney Springs, I believe a couple times this trip um, to kind of just experience different like eats and places to like kind of eat and go and see um because disney springs has expanded so much every single time we go and the last couple times we haven't gone to disney springs i don't think at all um 
so I'm excited to go because I really am hoping that we can get into Gideon's which is like that bake shop it has like these like beautiful looking cookies um so I really want to try those and where else oh we really want to try chicken guy um which is like Guy Fieri's like chicken place I don't know I'm just really excited it looks delicious it looks like a beautiful chicken sandwich and I am just very much down for it but yeah that is basically it for our trip plans um a few little things I think that people might ask um the way that we are able to go on the trip basically and not come back in quarantine I kind of touched on in the beginning but um we are from Canada if you don't know um so obviously international travel is kind of up in the air right now um so basically when we go into the states we have to get a covid test that provides that it's negative um up to three days before we leave for our trip and then we can fly in there and then there's no quarantine or anything to do in florida um and then on our way home again three days before we get on the plane to come home we have to get another covid test so we will be doing that um one of the days towards the end of our trip um and then we are able to fly home and then i believe austin's been one to look into this more um but basically you do a test before you come home and then when you get home you also have like a take home you also have like a take home kit um that you do a test as well um and then you get your results from that like once you land back in Canada, you get the results from that like within like one to three days, I think is what I've heard people talking about. Um, and then because we are double vaccinated, we do not have to quarantine. All we have to do is like obviously keep your contacts to a minimum, um, know who you're talking to and seeing. We, I don't think we're gonna go see anybody um, right after we get home. I think it's just safer to not, um, just in case, cause you never know. Um, but I will say that while we are in Florida, um, right now, as of when I'm filming this, which is August 6th, um, we are required in Disney, we are required in Disney to wear masks every, t like whenever you are inside. Um, so I was planning on wearing a mask inside anyways, and I am also pl probably planning on wearing a mask anytime I'm outside as well. Um, because even though I am fully vaccinated, I still feel like we are putting ourselves at a higher risk going to Disney. I know Disney is like a safe spot and people are like following rules and there's a lot more rules there than there is other places. Um, but I just coming from Canada where we have to wear masks everywhere, um, I just feel more safe probably wearing a mask um, in most places. Anytime we're kind of like around people, I will most likely be wearing a mask. So just to clear that up. Um, and what else? Oh, we also might be meeting up with some friends while we're there, um, but I won't touch on that quite yet. Um, we'll talk about that later. Maybe on Instagram stories, you'll see that. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any other questions about our trip um, or about what we're doing or anything like that, feel free to leave it in the comments below if you would like to see when we're going and actually like follow along live while we're going. Um, you can follow my Instagram again. I'll leave that down below. And oh, the thing, oh gosh, oh, that's not in my eye. Oh, the thing that everybody is going to want to know that I haven't really talked about, which I feel like is a given, but who knows. Um, we will be vlogging the trip, of course. Um, honestly, through the pandemic, still to now, obviously, because the pandemic is still going on, um, I have really thrived on watching our own Disney vlogs um, because it's just like home movies and it's just so special to me and to Austin and like sometimes instead of like watching a movie before bed, we'll like just sit and watch a bunch of the Disney vlogs. So I definitely 1000% will be vlogging um, our trip because I am just so excited to be back and experience the magic again and yeah and also I'm very proud that I have got through this video without crying so we're growing we're growing and we're glowing <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and trip videos will be coming and packing videos will be coming and all the fun things so Without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Bye.